right. Oh, I left your card upstairs. Do you want to bring it down so I can show everybody? What? So rude. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, this can actually see everything pretty well. Move everything up here. Hi, Renee. What? Just fell down again? I have a lazy stand. Maybe it has coronavirus. Oh, come on. Stop doing that. All right. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. We'll take it. Hi, Chow. All right. I just got this after work today. I came home and Leah and I made one quick card with it, which Leah's going to run up and go get so I can show everybody. Thank you. Um... But I really haven't played with it yet. Hi, Fairy Fox. Hi, Patty. Hi, Carolyn. Oh, no problem, Carolyn. Yes, I did buy it from HSN. So I'm not going to do an unboxing. If you want to see an unboxing video, there are a billion of them on YouTube. Okay, so what I do want to show you is I did order the... So what originally happened was I ordered the Cricut Joy, like, I don't know, the vinyl and everything kit, right? And... When I saw that shipping was $5 each item, I didn't complete my order. Um, when I didn't complete my order, and I went back and checked it later, everything had sold out. So they had changed the special to this one, which is the card bundle, which is, I'm fine with that. So for $179 is the special they had. You got the machine, but you got this card making bundle and in the card making bundle, it came with um, four of these cards, card sets, or sorry, three of the card sets, right? I thought it was four. For, oh, it is four. Where's the, where's the bag? Did I bring a bag down here? Oh, it's right next to me. The... Okay, so it came with four of these card sets, which I'll show you. And then it came with um, three of the pens so I'll show you that. It came with... Ugh, I'm dropping things everywhere. It came with these three pens. And it came with the card mat. Okay, so this is the card mat. And I'll show you guys that if you want to see it. Okay, so for all of that, for $179.95 or whatever. The machine itself comes with uh, one Cricut Joy Standard Grip uh, mat. It came with a sample of one sample of cardstock, one sample of the whatever they call it, magic vinyl or whatever, and then um, one pen. So I've actually just put all my pens together in the little box. Um, I went to Michaels because Michaels had like a buy one get one half off sale, and so. Yeah, Carolyn, I got it for a couple reasons. One, I do like the little size, okay? Because if I want to make, ideally, like a little Steelers decal or something, you know, I don't want, I have the huge silhouette. Mine's a silhouette two, three, I think it's the two. I keep calling it the three, but it's the two. And it's pretty big. So, you know, it's not real convenient for me to go over to the computer, turn on the computer, load my design. Whoops. Um, cut it out, cut a big piece of vinyl out for something so small. Basically, I got this because it's small. Two, because it looked really simple. And I thought this would be great for Leah because she's really starting to get into everything I do now. So I thought it would be a good way to get her involved. All right, anyway, Michael's had buy one, get one half off their Cricut Joy products. So I got red, yellow, blue, and black permanent glossy vinyl. 
I never buy removable vinyl because I will never use it as a removable vinyl. So I always use permanent vinyl. Um, so it's buy one, get one half off. So I got those and these are my Steelers colors so I can make my little Steelers decals. Okay. I did not get the writable vinyl. I looked at it, but I did not get it. And then I also picked up the long mat. I don't know why. I just thought maybe I might need it. And I picked up an extra blade. Now, I did not buy the housing, and I want to show you what I discovered today. They sell the blade, and they sell the housing. I don't know why you would ever need the housing. So this comes inside the machine. So when you get your machine, I will say it was very nicely packaged, wrapped, very good job there, Cricut. And this is my first Cricut product, so I don't, I've never had a Cricut before. Um, Bonnie, we just jumped on. Don't worry, hon. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Nikki. Hi, pet mom. Oh, Missouri. I love Missouri. Okay, so anyway, this comes, and it's got plastic on the outside you take off. It has a little piece of plastic down here you take off. There's a little foam piece under the blade you take off. And when you open this, and that's how easy it is, you just flip that little door open, you pull this, this is your blade. So if you're going to do anything with the pens, which I've already done, you just stick your pens in there. To remove your blade, if you ever want to switch out your blade, all you do is you press this white thing in. When you press that in, it pushes the blade up. Do you see the blade coming up? It's like a you're getting a shot, okay? And then you carefully pull that. It's on there through a magnet, that's a magnet in there holding it in there. And when you buy the replacement blade, that's all that's in here is this little blade is, is all that's in this box. So you don't need to buy another housing for it. I don't know why unless this gets damaged. And I'm thinking the only way it probably gets damaged is people are probably turning and twisting on this and yanking on it and thinking this needs to come off. It doesn't. All you do is press that little button to release it. And then when you're ready to put your blade back in, you just slide it in there. Careful not to cut yourself. And then it retracts. And you don't need to adjust the size on this. I think that's pretty cool. You don't need to move it up, down. Now, again, this machine is not for cutting leather and things like that. If you want a machine like that, then I'm going to agree with everybody online and say spend the money on the big machine. This is a small machine for small projects. Okay? And it just slides in there. You close the door. It's ready to go. There are no buttons or anything on the machine. It was pretty easy to set up. Um, there's a power cord. That's another complaint I have. I don't know why in today's day and age, it's not a USB power cord. It's your old fashioned regular power cord with a big old power block attached to it. This should be a USB power cord, but whatever. I didn't design the machine. Um, but it came pretty nicely packaged. It's a very small size. It is heavy. It's not super light. This thing is probably a couple pounds, okay? But it's tiny. I mean, look at how, look, I'll compare it to my mink. I mean, look at how little it is. So it's perfect if you are just starting out, if you have limited space. Maybe you have kids. Maybe you don't do a whole bunch of card making and you don't want to fill your apartment and your house with a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, it's just cute. Yeah, my first Cricut. So um, I bought it for a couple of reasons. One, I've never had a Cricut. I thought, okay, let me try it out. Two, um, again, uh, the size is, is really it is cute. Who? Sometimes we just buy stuff because it's cute. And three, I wanted to see how it would work for you guys because I know you guys often want to know. And like I said, I think it's a great starting machine for Leah. I don't want her touching my silhouette. I don't want her near my silhouette. So this is a great, cute, hey, I got to make something quick. I don't want to get the computer and everything out. That's my idea. Okay. So let me show you again. These are what came with it standard. There's a little plastic sheet that stays on here. You want to always keep that, keep this protected. You get a little piece of smart vinyl, a little piece of paper. The card kit, this is a really cool mat. And I'm sure they're going to mass produce this mat for the larger machines. Um, that was the biggest complaint I saw online from everybody was that you cannot use these accessories on the bigger machines. You can't use the bigger machine accessories on this. Okay, again, small machine, small designs. If they wanted you to have a big machine, they would just tell everybody to buy the big machine. They were filling a niche in the market. And if you, you don't want, you want to spend the extra 20 bucks and go with the big machine, go for it. 
Nobody is putting a gun to your head and telling you you have to buy this little machine and you're wasting your money. So I kind of like don't like those reviews online saying, you know, that machine is $20 more. Go buy a big machine. Well, not everybody wants a big machine. I'm just saying. That's my opinion. If I want to spend my money on a little machine, I'm going to spend my money. Don't tell me I'm wasting my money. <laughs> okay. So there are no, no different blades. It's one blade. As far as I could see, I didn't see anything else at the store. Now, the store did have glitter vinyl, permanent vinyl, temporary vinyl. They had these card kits. This was at Michael's. I think Joann's carries the same thing. They had uh, the regular mat. They had a super sticky mat, I think. They had the long mat. I didn't see any of these card mats, but I'm guessing they were probably sold out. They had specialty double-sided pa uh, designer paper, which had was sticker paper, and oh trans transfer tape i did not buy any transfer tape guys if you have um what's this stuff called contact paper you don't need transfer tape okay all right so here's what's cool about this card mat and i'll show you the card Leah and i made she just gave it to me and i already lost it oh, here it is okay so this was the one and only design Leah and i made we cut out this design and we put it back in the mat and we use the marker to write happy birthday on there. And then you put this little foiled piece of cardstock inside. So I'll show you how that sets up. I'm not going to make the card because, again, a million people have already done this online. So, again, the card mat has this clear plastic protective piece. You take that off and then you take your card. And what comes in these boxes, these card boxes, are 12 cards. They're standard card size. A2 size, there are um, 12 inserts, which are either different colored or foiled. This one just happens to be foiled. And then it has uh, 12 envelopes, okay, your standard envelopes. So what you do with this card mat, oh, I didn't see that at my Target. Yeah, writable vinyl, correct, I missed that. I might go back and get that. Okay, so there's like a little uh, sleeve on this mat it doesn't come off okay so you don't try to lift it or pull it off of there and what you're going to do is you're going to slide the bottom of your card into that sleeve and then the top is our uh, adhesive a light adhesive and it's going to hold that down and then when you're ready to design your card you slide that in there it cuts its design and when it's done it's going to leave all the sticky pieces behind just you know you can either save it or throw it away and then if you want to do the inside of the card you do the opposite so you would fold the card back like this that would be the front of the card so i'll demonstrate on leah's card you stick the front of the card in your little sleeve now and then stick this down and then you can go do your your pen writing so i thought that was pretty cool pretty convenient and then it cuts out these little corners so all you have to do is pop whatever color backing you want in there so this it cuts all this out and you just pop this little cardstock piece in there now you don't have to buy their card kits to make this happen we all have paper you just have to cut your paper down to a2 size Put it in there, cut your design, draw your design, whatever you want to do, and then you cut a little piece of cardstock to stick in there. But it was kind of cool to have these little, uh, I think these are these were $7 a box. Hold on, let me tell you the price. All right, so just to give you an idea on pricing. Wrong, wrong receipt. Okay, so the long, or sorry, the blade, the replaceable blade was $12.99. The long grip mat was $9.99. So I got one, the other one was half off. So this was $9.99, I got it half off. Because, you know, they don't often, they don't allow us to use coupons on these things. So I was like, well, I better get what I think I'm going to need. And then the little vinyl pieces, um... We're $5.99 each for permanent vinyl. And I got, they have long ones and short ones. I got the regular short ones. So it was buy one, get one, half off. All right, moving along. Why are we all here? Because we want to know if the foil quill is going to work. Let's just face it. If the foil quill works on this thing, ooh, 
we are going to be some happy, happy little crafters. All right, so I'm going to move my card mat and my little card boxes and my little pen out of the way. Hi, Terry. How was California? Hi, Nikki. Okay, so I have my machine plugged in. I do have, there's a little light on the top that tells you that it's plugged in, it's powered on. I do need to go over to my phone, so I might not be able to see all of your messages here in a second. I'm going to prepare my little um, mat. So it's a little standard grip mat. It came with a sample of cardstock. I'm going to start, uh, well, I guess we'll use the colored side. Oh, it's already sticky. I have some sample foil quill foil here. So we'll take a little piece of this. And this is hot foil. So again, you cannot use mink or toner foil and yes, unless you're gonna foil over vinyl. I'm not gonna be demonstrating that. If you're going to be um, doing regular foiling, you need to use either Spellbinders Glimmer Foil or um, Toto Foil if you're overseas or uh, Foil Quill Foil or what else is out there? Spellbinders, Foil Quill, oh, Gemini Foil. I'm just using some washi tape and Kind of holding this down in the top and the bottom. I'm kind of being careful not to really put it too much on the sides of the mat because they there's these little grooves and that's where the wheels are. So I don't want to put it too too much on the side. But we're, again, we're just testing this out here. Okay. All right. So then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my my blade, just move it out of the way, and here's what I've already done. Off to the side. I think this is the standard foil quill. Hold on. Let me grab my other two here. So I have, yeah. So the thicker one, the bold is the blue. The pink is the fine line. I'm using the standard size foil quill. Okay. Now the first question I had when I opened it up was how do, what what adapter am I going to need to fit it in there, right? That's the question you guys are asking. And this is plugged in and and on my little um, charger box here, okay? So, I'm not going to stick that in there yet cuz I want to pick a design so we can get moving here. Hold on. I have just just warming up. See it's all lit up, warming up sitting on my glass mat. It's getting ready to want to go in the machine there. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my phone and I have to go into design space. And this is what I really need to learn because I'm not a huge, like I said, my first cricket. I'm not a design space person. If you have one, you're probably better at it than I am. And then I'm going to um, pick something to make here. Well, let's do, how did I do it before? New design. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Gotta move you guys out of the way. How do I move you guys? Oh, okay, so I did new design, and then this, I uh, go to canvas. Canvas is where you, I guess, make your own designs. Down at the bottom here, it says text. So I'm gonna grab a text box. Now, a lot of these have a price tag next to them, and I thought, oh, I get 30 days free. Yeah, that's not true. If you pick one of these that have a price tag, you have to pay for it. So pick one that doesn't have a price tag on it and it will be free. I'm going to pick a simple line free font. I'm sure you can transfer fonts onto here. Again, I haven't played around with it yet, but I'm just gonna try to find a free font and you can see there's a whole bunch in here. Come on, how many of them are free though? Zero. Well, I know at least one is because I used it on Leah's card. Hello. Any day now.
That one's a little too thick. I want to find something with a thin font because of us using the foil quill. I don't want to use a thick one. I know. You guys are like, just pick one already. It has to be the right one or it won't work. Oh, poop there. That's cool. We're just going to go with this one for now. Then down here it says enter text. And I am use I have a, a Samsung phone. I don't have an Apple phone. My sister's texting me. Okay, so then you're going to type your text. Once you're done typing your text, down at the bottom here again are your option boxes, okay? So if you're going to be... Uh, printing this or writing this instead of cutting it you need to edit which is a little little triangle there and you have to choose that you want to edit it so this says no cut which is what I want oh you have to tap on your design first sorry then edit it Okay, so here you can change if you want it left, if you want it centered, if you want it on the right. You can change the size of your font. I'm going to change my font to very small because we're doing it on a card because it thinks it's doing it much bigger. But we can change it in a second. And then where it says cut here, we're going to click that and change it to draw. Okay, and then you really don't, it doesn't matter what color you're doing here because I'm not changing my pen out at this point. And then it tells you here, what are you doing? Uh, extra fine point, gel, glitter gel, marker, calligraphy. These are the markers, I guess, that they sell to go with the machine. Okay, and then we're going to click down here where it says um, make it. When we go to make it, it's going to ask us how are we loading this. So we're going to load it um, with a mat. So you have without a mat, which would be like the Cricut Smart vinyl because it has these little track pieces on the side, on the mat or on the card mat. So this is the regular mat. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the mat. So if I don't like how that looks or I don't like the position, I can drag it, move it, um, you can't really change the size of it here. We have to kind of go back. So let me go back and make it a little bigger. So I'm going to hit the back arrow, go back to canvas, click on it, hit edit, raise my font size. So I'm going to go, I don't know, 16. Okay, go back to make it. All right, so I'm trying to put it on the mat where I know that there's foil. right below the two. All right, so we're gonna just try this right here. Okay, then we're gonna hit continue. It's gonna say connect to your machine. I already paired my machine earlier and it's gonna walk me through the directions here. So it's gonna say pick what you're doing and I'm gonna say I'm doing it on cardstock. Then it's gonna say load your pen. So now I'm gonna put my um, foil quill in here. Now I'm going to put my foil quill pretty much so that it's touching the bottom and watch this guys. It fits without an adapter. Okay. Now I'm going to load my mat. Oh, I got to lift that up. I need to lift this up so that it goes right to the top of the mat. There we go. Now I don't know if this is going to work or not. We'll, we're all going to find out here. I might need to adjust the foil quill but we're all about to find out. Okay, it says the tools in the mat are loaded. It recognizes there's something in the pen holder and it recognizes that the mats on there, the mats just feed into these two little um, uh, guide, guide pieces. And now it says tap go. So we're gonna tap go and we're all gonna cross our fingers. I said, I think I'm probably gonna have to adjust the foil quill if it doesn't press down hard enough. Oh, you know what? Because I don't know if it's going to lift and stuff. We're going to have to find out here. But I think that's what's going to be the tricky part, is figuring out how to get that foil quill in there and so that it lifts 
and foils. I probably should have made my font bigger. Okay, another thing I found out is that when it's in this um, cutting mode right here, you cannot go in and mess with this. Like you can't go back, you can't create a new design. You have to wait for it to finish. The only thing you can do is pause it. But I was really afraid that I needed adapters for it because I bought all of my adapters. You know, I went on different Facebook pages and I changed all of my adapters out so they would be silhouette size adapters. I didn't have any of the other adapters anymore. So I was afraid it wasn't going to fit, but it fits without the adapter. I can't read your comments. I'll have to stand up to see comments. I, Nikki, I figured that, but I film on my um, iPad, so I'll have to do that. Oh, it's done. Okay, I'm going to unplug my foil quill and remove it out of the way first. I'm trying to read your comments here. Yeah, I'd rather have a USB power right. Correct, Nikki. But there's no other cords being hooked to any computer. It's all Bluetooth. Oh, good. Nikki is the expert here. Thank you, Nikki. All right, and then you're going to hit on your phone, unload. And it looks like my font was too, um, and then it spits the mat out. So it looks like my foil quill was down too far. But I think once I figure out the adjustment for that, I'll probably put a little mark on. Like once I figure out where it needs to go, I'm going to put a little mark with a permanent marker so I know that's the, the height it needs to go at to work. And guess what? It works. Holy crap. Let's try that again. I'm just going to reuse this little piece here. Let's try it again. See if I can get my adjustment better. Let me go back and pick a different design. You sure you want to cancel the cut? Yes, cancel. I'm finished with my design. Let's go back and make something else. When you're ready to delete your design, you can just hit the X and it will delete it. Um, let's try an image. Maybe we can get, okay, so they have images on here. Again, I will try to find a free one. I thought we get a month free, so I don't know why, what I'm getting for free, if somebody can explain that. Categories, cartridges. What if I search free? Free is not free. Okay, down here there's some free. <laughs> Wild and free. Let's try that. Okay, here we go. Make it a little bigger. Make it. Oh, it has a project already. It didn't delete my other project. Why didn't it delete it? All right, we're going to have to start over. Home, new project. I want to replace my old project. I don't know why I didn't just delete it, but okay. These are things I need to learn. Again, my first Cricut just got out of the box, and I knew you guys wanted to see it. Aww. wonder if there's a way of showing the canvas on here to be the actual grip size. That's the other thing. See, why is that still showing up if I deleted it? It says adjust your affected layers. Oh, okay. There's different layer. Oh, I don't know what that means. Saying there's different layers and there's an issue with my layers. Mm. Okay, I 
think I'm gonna have to start all the way over here. How do I delete this? We're not using this anymore. This project has images that cannot be sent to the mat. To resolve, select OK and adjust the affected layers. What's wrong with the layers? Draw, attach. We're not drawing and attaching anything. Do I just delete that? Pen incompatible. Okay, fine. Image too large. Reduce the size. Oh, so if you click these little triangles, it tells you what's wrong. Okay. So back let's make it a little smaller okay went away so it's not too big and then the pen is incompatible so let's go to edit change the line type to uh i don't know it's not gonna take fine point okay it took it now make it oh there it is okay now it thinks it's like super big let's go back and make it way smaller So this is the part, like, once you learn all these things you have to do, that's the hard part. Um, I want to also change the direction. So I'm going to go to edit again. And then here it says rotate. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. So it turns it. Okay, now I want it on the mat. Okay, so there's what it looks like. I think it's still too big. I'm going to go make it a little smaller. See, I didn't realize it was that big. I wish I could change this view to be the view of the mat. I'm sure there's a way of doing that. I just need to figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to move this down here. And before I send it, I'm going to put my foil quilt in here. have it and it's in there tight like it's not moving I have it barely touching the mat I don't know if that's gonna work or not let's hit continue it says connect with your machine it's gonna talk to the machine let me read you guys comments okay um, yep made it smaller oh got to activate it on the website okay I'll do that Highlight and delete it. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Drawing software because my foil bike. <laughs> Fairy Fox. Okay. See, you guys know all this. I can't read my comments on the phone when I'm doing this, though, so I have to stand up and read them. Okay, cardstock. It says load the mat and the thing. I guess I should take them out, put them back in. There we go. Oh. Move the stuff behind it out of the way. Tap go. All right, see this when it retracts, it has this line. That tells me I'm too close. That's what I think is going to happen. But you know what? It didn't go through the foil. Let's see when we unload what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty good. Look, guys. And it's not perfect, but that's pretty good. It doesn't have the line. So that tells me my foil quill is just almost on the mark. It needs to come down a smidgen. Just a tiny smidgen. Because the first time it was too deep. And see, it drew the lines there. And the second time, it needs to come up just a hair. If it comes up a hair, this is going to work. I'm going to make this work. So... 
I'm actually just gonna flip the paper over. We're gonna keep on testing here. Ooh, I'm excited, you guys. Now I just gotta figure out how to get them all my designs transferred over. Nikki, you're gonna have to give me classes. Okay. I'm just gonna flip the paper over. We're gonna reuse the same paper. It's good cardstock, it's heavy. That's the other thing that's gonna matter, you know, which foil quill you're using, what kind of cardstock you're using. Keep all of that in mind. What kind of foil you're using. There's dust on my mat already. Get that off of there, okay. Okay. Now, just gonna reuse the same piece of foil, same piece of paper flipped over. I'm gonna move my foil quill down just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. Hey, you, what are you doing? I'm not ready for you to cut it or draw. All right. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. Let's find out. This is going to take some trial and error experimenting. It's probably going to foil in the same place. Let me shoot. I should put a clean piece of foil in there because if it's going to foil in the same place, I'm not going to know if it foiled correctly or if my foil is just... This is how lazy Nance is. I'm not wasting my foil. We'll just do this. <laughs> we'll improvise for a second. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, I think my foil is too far down because I can see the line it drew across the box. We'll see here in a second. Well, at least we know we can get this to work. This is just gonna take a little trial and error on figuring out the correct placement for the foil quill. And what what type of paper. Clearly, 80 pound paper is gonna be different than 110 pound paper. Okay, yeah, see when it retracted, it took this line with it, it's, it's too far down. I gotta find a happy medium. Literally, in the medium. <laughs> yeah, so it kind of did like this zigzag wonky. It's too far down. So touching is too far. If we go just slightly up. And we're trying to eliminate these lines. Okay, so I know what I need to do to fix that. It's just going to take some time to figure it out. Yeah, I figure as I use the designs, I'll upload them when I need them. But so far, this is pretty... Easy. Bye, Fairy Fox. All right, so we want to try one more. Do you guys want to see me cut one of those cards or do we want to try another foil? I mean, we could get this to work, but I don't want to keep you guys on here, you know, watching me move that up in little micro increments there. So I'm actually going to take this out. I'll show you guys the card because the card was really easy to do. And again, you don't have to buy their cards. You can use whatever cards you have. I'm going to put the cutting blade back in. Let me go and cancel out my design. 
wrong wrong place Nance don't close out the YouTube here um, finished delete now there is a, a place on here when you go to categories it says Cricut Joy right here free for the Cricut Joy so you click on that I'm trying to read your comments oh that's a good idea okay yeah I'll have to measure it Sheila says another foil that's a good idea Stacy okay I'll have to look into that let me do one of these cards because they were super cute and easy to do how about, oh, look at the cute little doggy. I don't know. We'll do this floral egg card because Easter's coming. Okay, it tells you what it's designed for. It tells you what are the best materials to use for it. it tells you what you need, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to say make it. And we're going to pick a card. These pastel cards. You know, I didn't even think about that. I should have just measured the distance between the pen. Um, where the pen sits in there, and then measure that against the foil quill. So glad you're here, Stacy. All right, I'll take this little purple card. These cards have a little bit of a texture. It kind of almost reminds you of how Basil, you know, was. Like this is a little smaller. You can see the texture there. Okay, so then we need our handy dandy card thingy card mat. That card mat is pretty cool. My squeaky chair. Okay. And then again, we just slide this into the little sleeve. Make sure you remove the protective cover. You want the adhesive to hold your card down. I already put my blade in. Okay, I'm going to hit continue. It always asks you to pair your machine. You just have to hit connect. Okay, then the light lights up on top. We're going to do cardstock. We're going to load our blade and our mat. It should know that we're loaded. There we go. And again, you want to make sure there's nothing behind the machine. Okay. We're going to hit go. This is really simple to do, but it is very slow. I will say that, that I was just like, gosh, this is taking an awfully long time. That's why I thought it would really be good for the foil quill. But let me show you guys. Look at how much better that came out the second time because it really pressed down. I mean, never mind that. But I just got to figure out how to get it so that it moves up and down. So I think we can get it to work with the foil quill. It's just a matter of getting the settings in there, right? And then you could just foil quill these designs. You don't have to cut them out. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I do a lot of videos, especially on foiling, hot foiling, regular foiling, mink foiling, um, you can click the subscribe button when it comes up and subscribe to my channel. I often do giveaways as well. Um, but I am here to help out the average crafter. If something works, I'll let you guys know it works. And if I think it doesn't work, then I will be very honest with you about it. Um, we are a judgment-free zone, so all the comments that you questions you have, go ahead and ask away. If you're shy and you want to email me, you can email me at nancystamps, the number 15, at gmail.com. I answer all of my emails. 
and we're all learning this new little machine together. So far, I like it. Okay, so it's done cutting. That was actually pretty quick. Now, here's the inserts that came with the card. This one's kind of like a bronzy color. I don't think it's so pretty. It's kind of ugly to me. So I'm going to cut my own card to put in there. Um, I'm going to unload my mat. Move this little baby out of the way. Baby Joy. And so this is, let me tell you the size on this. This is five and a quarter by four. So good, standard mat size. So we're gonna cut this down to five and a quarter. This is my my own uh, personal paper here. So five and a quarter by four. Let me go back to my comments so I can see what you guys are saying. I lost you guys. So this is what came in the box. This is my paper. Here we go. Now I can see your comments. Hopefully. All right. Aw, thanks, Patty. Okay, so here you're going to gently pull up on your card. Now if you have the little... Uh, scraper tools and things like that. They come in handy. My mat was not super sticky, so that was fine. I've seen some of the videos where everybody's mats were super sticky. Look, everything came off. And again, if you want to do an inlaid um, die cut look, you can save all these pieces, cut out another one, and put those pieces back in. I'll be honest with you, Nancy does not do that. I don't have the patience or the time, so this will all get, unfortunately, donated to the garbage. Then you take your little card that you want to back this with, and you can see, like I said, I did not do their card. I did mine. So you don't have to buy their card kits. You can use your own card stock. And we're just going to gently, these have these funky curved corners here, so we're just going to gently slide this into the corners. Where did my comments go? Oh, that fits perfectly. And now we have a beautiful Easter card. Look how pretty that is. Now, if we wanted to print on the inside, let me get my little scrapey tool here. Oh, I do own a piece of Cricut stuff. Isn't this Cricut? This thing's so old. <laughs> let me just scrape this off real quick. Sorry to everybody who's like, no. I can see where having a second card mat would come in handy. I would probably just stick it, put it, you know, grab a second mat and do the inside without using all of this. So I would say if you can get your hands on a second one of these little card mats, they'll probably come in quite handy. Okay, so now we're going to fold our card inside out. Now you don't have to have that. Um, foil piece in there. In fact, I'm going to remove it because I don't want it to get all drawn on or ripped up. I'm going to carefully take that out. We'll put that back in in a minute. We're going to flip our card. So we're putting the front of the card inside the sleeve. And now we're going to stick down that part, the center, I mean the inside. All right, now we want to do some kind of a, hey, how's it going? Happy Easter, right? Um, okay, so we're going to say we're finished. We're going to go back to canvas. Let me see if I can find something that says Happy Easter. Um, oh, down here it says images. There we go.
it's not hard to use this software, I will say that. Like, I think you just need to play with it for a day, and then, like, I've only been playing with it for an hour, and I'm, you know, getting the hang of it. Trying to find one that's free so I don't have to put it in there. All right, we're just going to go back to font and make our own. So we'll go to text. Pick this one just because it's the first one I see. I'm going to type Happy Easter. Okay, done. Now I know I probably need to make this smaller. What's the size on this? Yeah, it says it's seven inches, and that's going to be too wide. So we know that our card front is uh, four and a quarter. So we need to make this much smaller. So we'll make it four inches. And I also know from previous dealings that I need to change the um, rotate it. So let me make sure I have this on. Instead of cut, I want to change it to draw. I'm going to do fine point pen. Check that off. That's okay. And then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. Now we're going to click make it. We're going to do on the card mat. See, it rotated it. It's just the right size. It should fit. And I think I want it right there in the middle of my card. Let me get my little pens. We just pop that open, pull our blade out. And I think this would look pretty with the purple pen. Slide that in there. Close the door. Hit continue. Connect to your machine. Yes. Okay. We're doing it on cardstock. We loaded our pen. We're going to load our mat. Okay. And then we're going to hit go. Let's see how that does. Card mats are good for 20 cards, Sheila says. Then they, what, lose their stickiness? So then you use your zig double glue or you use that super cleaner or whatever. Buy a couple more mats. So, in my opinion, I think that these little card kits are handy. If you can get them cheap enough, I don't know that six, seven bucks... For 12 when I can make my own. I mean, clearly we all have enough. Um, is that going to fit? I don't think it's going to fit. That's not going to fit. We're losing our R in Easter. Yeah, it thought my card was bigger than that. Oh, it barely fit. <laughs> okay, so now it's done. And I guess it has a fill-in feature you can fill in. I'll do that again. Unload. And there you can see it took the purple pen and it wrote Happy Easter. Just barely fit on there. So now when we take our card out, we put our pretty pink matte cardstock back in. have a pretty quick you could probably do that pet mom but then when you go to put the foil quill back in as it's moving from letter to letter you're gonna lose like for example here if it was doing this as it moves from H to A A to P P to P or whatever you're gonna have those lines in there so we really need to figure out the correct setting for it. And, um, you know, that's a good idea to, like, just looking at this pen, she said a popsicle stick, and that's probably about right. But I bet you I could measure that. Hold on a second. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Okay, 
so here is the foil quill I was using. And I'm looking at where the pen is lined up. And there is a space there. So this is kind of, it is moving up and down. The cartridge itself is moving up and down. So I need to figure out where the end of that is, measure it, and get it in there. Try to get the tip of the pen to measure with the tip of the foil quill. Marker. I am no engineer, people. But I will figure this out for us. Oh, I guess I could just measure it. Duh, Nance. Instead of trying to eyeball it. Oh, that looks pretty good. Let me see. Let me get it. Because when the pen goes in, the pen stops right at the top there. So that's where the top, so from the end of the pen, it's about three centimeters. So from the tip of the foil quill, okay, I have it marked at three centimeters. Let's try this again. So now I know where my little marker is. Three centimeters. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. See, now that's too high. I don't think that's gonna work. Because before, it didn't go down far enough. Ooh, if I do that, foil is gonna stick everywhere. Let me grab the correct, let me grab my, see, I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's going to go down far enough. Um, I could be wrong, but I don't think it's, I think it's too high up. Oh, yeah. This little thingy. See, this is why I do this with you guys. Linia, did you get your box today, hon? Not you. It's not moving at all. I need to watch it. Yes, Marlene, you can cut your own cardstock. Maybe we'll do it. Does it go like this? It's like this, right? See, this is designed to keep this protected so that you don't melt your plastic. Let me get. I'm gonna grab a piece of Nina. Hold on some Nina Solar White because that's what we always use. I'll put the pen back in, she says. Okay. Get the, where's the pen? Wrong pen. My desk is a hot mess now. Where'd I put the pen? Oh, jeez. Guys, I lost the pen already. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I always do this when I am live with you guys. My purple pen. Under the machine. Did anybody say that? You get a prize if you said that. <laughs> well, yeah, the pen sticks up pretty high, too. You're right. Let's, let's try it out. I'm going right to the line there. Just, all right, so it's warming up. Let me just cut some 
a couple pieces of paper here. This is Nina Solar White. This is usually what I use on all my projects. So we'll cut it to five and a quarter by four. We'll cut a couple pieces. We'll cut a couple pieces of foil. We'll see if we can get this to work. And if we come up with a solution, you guys can all say you were all part of the solution. And since we are all quarantined in the house, we can all play with our foil quills and joys. So my kids, uh, the whole state of Pennsylvania has no school for the next two weeks. My sister <laughs> called me today and asked me to go find toilet paper for her. She's literally like out of toilet paper. She lives in a house with three teenage girls. And she was like, I really didn't think it was going to come to this, but I'm out of toilet paper. Can you help me out? So on my way home from work, I stopped at Target. Empty. Like, the shelves were empty. Um, I went to uh, BJ's where I went just three days ago. I went to BJ's. They had more than enough toilet paper. Empty. Gone. Um, yeah, so now the kids are at home. I stocked up on enough peanut butter, jelly, chicken nuggets. They'll be fine. The school sent home laptops for our kids. So I don't know if they're going to have homework to do or not. So it's going to be interesting the next two weeks. This is, again, the, the sample foil quill foil that came with the machine. My washi tape. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I could have done, you know, Nance figure it out on her own. But you guys have been so helpful, so I really appreciate that. And I appreciate you guys hanging in and helping me out and checking everything out here. Okay, so got to pick a design, right? Let me find my phone. Let me... Got to remember to make sure nothing's behind the machine. That's super annoying. It keeps smacking my little bookshelf back there. All right, let me find something to print quick. Finish. Let's go back. Oh, it ejected it. Okay. Um, we can actually print the same thing, but I'm going to make it smaller. Um, on a mat with regular material. Okay. Okay, so just for the sake of us having experiments here, I'm going to print that same thing. All right, I'm going to hit continue, connect my machine, oh, getting heartburn from dinner, cardstock. Now, it thinks, again, I'm on the drawing mode, so it thinks it's using the pen. It says load the mat, unload, load, okay. And smack the back of the thing there. Okay, hit go. Testing position number one. Oh, you guys. I think we figured it out all together. Three centimeters. Ah, it only took us uh, 63 minutes to figure it out. <laughs> Please don't make me do it with the other two quills. I don't even use these other two, honestly. Once in a blue moon. I don't like the thin one. It rips the paper in the foil. And the bold one, well, it's just so big. Oh, I forgot to make it smaller because my card stock's only uh, four inches. Whoops. That's okay. We just want to check the foiling quality anyway. We'll remember. Okay, it says unload the mat. Please unload. Okay, I think we have a winner. Nancy's nails not winning at pulling up the washi tape.
Yeah, it looks like I have giant man hands on the camera too. Whoa. I get like the super sticky part of the washi tape this time. There we go. <gasps> Look at that! You guys! It worked! It worked pretty good! Well, that's where the tape was. Ooh, let's do it again! Do it again! We're gonna do it again! Alright, we're gonna do the same design. I'm gonna move it down does look great, Patty. I'm like super excited over here. Um, I'm going to say finish. I want to move my design down and over a little bit. Let's try that. Okay. Doing cardstock. Okay, it's all loaded. Nothing behind the machine. So excited. I don't know. I am very lucky because I have a, an amazing babysitter and she's so nice. Like I don't even I don't even consider her my babysitter. She is my friend. And She's just awesome. And so, and she has a degree in education, I think. So, oh, good luxury card store. Unbox that baby. So, Leah's going to go with them. My boss is supposed to come see me from Pittsburgh next week. She called me today and said, we're going to play it by ear. I'm like, okay. So, I don't know. I said, I think all the kids that are stuck at home that are going to be so bored are going to take that toilet paper and go toilet paper all the trees in the neighborhood. Okay, we're going to unload. Looking good. I'm going to go from the top again. Yeah, Leah's sitting over there playing on her computer. She had dance tonight, and now they don't have dance for the next um, two weeks because the schools are closed for two weeks. You guys, it is working. Now we know we can hot foil with the Cricut Joy. It's not messed up. All right, so. Well, that's because there was tape in the way, Leah. See, you weren't watching the whole video. Don't judge. See the tape, Leah? guys it works think of how cool that's going to be to foil your sentiments on the inside now i just got to figure out how to get my other fonts and my other designs onto my ipad onto my phone and use it this is what i was really wondering this is a game changer now i'm really glad i got it because i don't want to get honestly i'm gonna get the big silhouette out to do this now that i know i can do it on here I could just do a whole bunch of these and cut them in strips. I marked the pen at three centimeters. Yes, let me show you guys. I'll show you exactly. I'm going to unplug this so that the heat turns off. So. Whose idea was that? Stacy's? Was that yours? Oh, you want to see the bold one and see if that works? Okay, so what I did was I measured from Yeah, the thin one is so small. Okay, I measured from the tip of the pen to the tip of the foil quill, okay? And you'll notice this line. This is the Cricut pens that came with it. These are their little Cricut Joy pens. They all have this ridge, and that ridge does not go in past um, the little cartridge holder here, okay? It sits right here, okay? So if you mark there, but if I, me I measured it from the tip to the end, from the tip to the end, it's three centimeters. 
three centimeters, okay? So you want to see it with the bold? We'll try it with the bold. Why not? Let me move this guy out of the way so he cools down. Yeah, I'll have to play around with design space. One of the reasons many, many, many moons ago that I did not get the Cricut and I went with the Silhouette is because I did not want to have to be obligated to buy designs from one manufacturer. In fact, um, I have um, an affiliate now with, oh, geez, I can't remember the name. Just slipped my mind. I'll, I'll link it for you guys. Um, oh, Creative Fabrica. Um and I want to download their designs. I want to use whatever I want to use. I don't want to be stuck to one company, if that makes sense. So we're going to take our adapter off. I don't have that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to measure three centimeters on this. And I'm going to get my white gel pen out for this because it's dark. Okay. I'm going to plug this bad boy up and let him heat up. And it does take a few minutes for them to heat up. And I'll get my little ruler. Three centimeters. So from the tip, from the heating tip, not from the plastic, from the heating tip. Hold on. No, I can't see it. Let me grab a white marker. I know I have a white. Um, oh, here we go. Jane Davenport to the rescue. Ow. Oh, that's way off. See how that works. Let me grab. Okay, so that looks about right to me. Oh, I didn't do it on camera. So I measured from the tip, the metal tip, all the way to this thick white line, it's three centimeters. So now I'm looking at, come on, focus. Okay. See, you guys are awesome. Wealth of knowledge with my subscribers. Love you guys. Share the knowledge. And no one can come at me and say, you shouldn't have did a video on that. That's not part of our deal. Because I can say, I paid for it with my money. Back up. Okay, this is a non-sponsored video. Sponsored by Nancy Stamps. I just want to get my washi tape back in place there before this all rips off. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to move it down. Now I've moved to the thicker uh, foil quill. So we're going to continue with that same design. Just using the bold foil quill now. Should be nice and warm. Okay, cardstock. There's some kind of sensor in there that you have to pull this out and put it back in before it senses it. And you want to mark your lines with a permanent marker. Okay, go. My foil's coming up there. Hopefully it doesn't rip that up. Oh, the foil quill is plugged into a power pack, Judy.
All right, you guys are saying good things about being able to use your own design. So what, what I'll do is I'll play around with my iPad. I'm only using my phone right now because, again, I have no patience. But I'll play around with my iPad, and I, I'm seeing a lot of possibilities with this little machine. So I think this is great. Um, plug what into the computer? Your foil quill, Judy? It needs to be a power pack. Don't plug it into your silhouette. Any place it can get power. So don't plug it into directly into your silhouette machine if you're using a silhouette. This doesn't have any. This has no. The only thing that comes out of this is one power cord. That's it. So this does not hook up to a computer or printer or anything like that. Just one power cord. Um, silhouette tells you not to plug it into the silhouette USB port. That is only for, um, you probably could plug it into your laptop. If you can charge your phone on it, you can, you can charge your foil quill on it. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. This is the bold. Okay, here we go. That looks pretty darn good. Now, missed a little spot here, but it's really not too bad. I'm pleasantly pleased, really, you guys. I didn't know if this was gonna work or not to see that it works now. It's not up to foil snob clubs, uh, you know, yet, but we'll get it there. Yeah, so you can definitely use the foil quill on this. You want to mark your foil quill to three centimeters. Seems to be the magic number. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to move it down a little bit more. We're going to leave the bold one in there. I don't know why my phone keeps turning off. Um, finish. It's going to unload. We're going to move this down again. So what do you guys think? I'm using the rose gold foil quill foil. Like it came with these three when I ordered it. So it came with uh, gold, silver, and rose gold. So this is the rose gold. These are the free samples of foil quill foil that came with the foil quill machine. I also have... Um, at regular foil, quill foil, I have uh, Gemini foil, I have Toto foil, I have Spellbinders Glimmer foil. All of those foils will work with the foil quill. Now, regular toner foil will not work. So, Deco foil. The, um, yeah, that's a good idea. Five by seven cards are a great idea. I didn't even think about that. Hi, Nikki. Um, yeah, we could cut these to bigger. That's, that's another possibility. Luxury card store. Good, good comment. Um, you can't use toner foil, deco foil, my favorite Creative Vision stamps foil. They will not work on regular cardstock. Now, I have been told, I have not tried it, that if you have vinyl underneath and you use toner foil, that it will work because the foil quill basically melts the vinyl. But um, I have not tried that. Okay, so... That came out a little bit better. I think my foil quill just needed to heat up. See how here it kind of skipped around a little bit? I think it just needed to heat up. You can see how much better those lines are now that it's fully warmed up. All right, I have kept you guys on here for 80 minutes. 
I think that's all we're gonna do for tonight. The good news is I am off all weekend. So please click the subscribe button, click the little wiggly bell. You'll get notifications every time I post a new video. There are playlists on foiling. I will add this to the foiling playlist. You can go check out all my other videos on the foil quill, on hot foiling, on regular foiling. I do a lot with foiling. I love foiling. Um, I am the president of the Foiling Snobs Club. <laughs> and we don't mean that in a negative way. We mean it in a good way. We mean it in we want our foiling to always be beautiful and to be as perfect as we can get it. And um, so, yeah. Now, all are welcome to join. Okay, I will definitely do that, Elizabeth. So you guys all gave me a lot of great ideas today. Thank you for sticking around while we experimented. We now know that the foil quill does work in the Cricut Joy. Spread the word, Nancy Stamps. So we got it to work. We don't have any weird lines. You know, look at where we started an hour ago. I don't know where that paper went. Oh, here it is. I mean, look at where we started an hour ago and we had weird lines everywhere, overfoiling, underfoiling, and now we got it to work perfectly. So I'm super happy about that. Again, I would appreciate your thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I'll be back this weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.